next we are going to make an extension all the file type we are going to support to upload images array inside this array first is jpeg J, jpg and last png this three type of file we are going to allow to upload any images okay now next check for something we are going to check for in underscore array that mean the element is in array or not it will take two parameter file extension and second one is extension extension that means this file extension that user uploading is inside this array or not if this condition is false it will give us an error message and it will not allow to upload any images okay next we are going to check for file size if file underscore size if file size is greater than 2 mb megapixel 2097152 here i have taken this calculation for is u this file is uploading as bytes of our megapixel okay on kilobyte is equal 1024 bytes on megabyte is equal 1024 kilobytes on gigabytes is equal 1024 megabyte we are using 2 megabytes so convert it to bytes it would be this number okay and there we are going to also make an error message that is file is too large this file is too here i made a mistake this should be file parts file parts okay now we are going to check for error if there is no error empty errors is equal equal true it will move the file to a new location move uploaded file it will it will move an uploaded file to a new location as i said the file name will be file underscore the uh, the variable we have made and we are going to upload it inside a folder the folder name will be uploads and there should be a for slash comma file name name of our OGF file this should not be a comma this should be a concatenation sign so file name okay perfect here we also need a else condition of this if okay since we are we are printing an array we need to print our function to show the error messages okay after showing the error it will die here so it no longer go at the bottom of this die it will no longer go here and read more codes below this this if else condition we are going to get the user inputted values for title and description title is equal html special character and inside it will have a global variable post uh, let me check how does the name of our title 
the name or title so make sure this name does match with the same name inside the post copy and paste it below and this would be description ctrl d for multiple selection description below here we need to make the sql query to uh, query to save those images with title and description okay let's do it sql actually we we made this upload folder but we haven't made it here so we need to make a folder otherwise it will not work because we said the directory upload for slash the name okay now let's make the sql query Okay, now go to PHP my admin database from here. We have a database that is file underscore upload inside it. We have a table or post. This should be post not past. Okay, as I made it past, we need to use past. Okay, just click on here and go to SQL uh, insert. We are going to insert data to our database. So just copy this line and paste it. In here as we making SQL query in here so let's make a variable SQL is equal in uh, sorry this should be uppercase or lowercase insert into past make sure the table name is same as here and there would be three variable we are going to insert this id is auto incremented so we don't need it as well first one is title second one is uh, actually let me copy and paste all of them control v image source control c control v and the values will be values would be question mark question mark question mark question mark okay actually what does it mean let me show you in a second let me make a statement of php prepare statement what does our variable name it was dbas that is we are getting from config.php we are going to use it dba is we are going to prepare our statement inside prepare we need to pass our sql query that is the variable of sql if you want to learn more about php video i have a tutorial series on that so you can learn it okay a statement and here we are going to use a function bind param by using this bind param function we are going to bind the variable with the values here this is the first question mark so we are going to give the value in here so this is the value of our title actually this is title is first first column let me show you once again go to past in here you can see the first column is id and second column is title description and image source as we are not using id so this is the first column and in first column we are uh, we are giving the value as question mark the first question mark we need to give one second question mark for the second question mark we need to give two that is how we are going to bind param with our variables okay the first is post title just copy this variable paste it here that is how we can bind it this is the most secure way to inserting data into the database so uh, user can't use any SQL injection on it. Okay, copy and paste it below two more times. This would be two for second question mark. This would be three for third question mark. Second question mark value is for description. So just write 
description third question mark value is for image source and the third one will be file underscore name okay that's perfect whenever we use prepare statement this function we need to execute our statement okay let's see how we can do that let me make it inside a condition if condition if a statement and this would be execute execute okay now once we have executed our statement then we are going to return to our index page so for that what we are going to do we are going to use a header function header this would be location colon index dot php this is the location we are going to use okay at first title would be anything you can give anything and choose file file use a random image or anything you can use upload now it redirecting to the index.php that in it is successfully uploaded let me check inside uploads we have two file on i have uploaded previously the second one now i have uploaded now okay this is the two image i have uploaded let me check inside php mysql go to this go to this table in here you can see lots of them uploaded the very last one is real madrid the previous this nine i have uploaded all of them so let me delete one by one 